What's good, everybody? It's your boy, O'Shea Duke Jackson, back at it again with another episode of The Celebrity Junk. As you brothers know, Magic Johnson made a, a terrible mistake, in my honest opinion, about demanding that black men vote for Kamala Harris. I don't know what Magic Johnson is thinking about. I don't know why Magic Johnson feels that he has a relationship with black men, at least in this modern day era. But again, you know, they needed somebody to try it. And he did indeed try it. And I did a video on it on my main channel, but the thing was, but the thing was black men did not really respond to what was going on. And that is when I found this from brother uh, Mark Cruz. He sent me, um, the, the creator by the name of Ace Smart 9 Check him out on TikTok. He's a comedian, I believe. Brother's really funny. And again, he's gonna share some thoughts about why black men ain't got no business, in his opinion, voting for Magic Johnson. And we gotta make sure we help black men understand. With all due disrespect, Magic Johnson, please shut the f up. Your son wears a size 16 pump. Shut up! You don't know nothing about black men. Ain't you itchy? Ain't you itchy? Fuck wrong with you. It's always the people with the worst motherfuckers. You got easy E. Itchy and scratchy. And you telling us what we black men need to be doing. You should be making a counter commercial. Can you stand up there with your goofy ass saying the same goofy shit? Your son was a size 16 B9. Size 16 B9 pump. He wants stilettos, pumps in the club, yeah. Don't you tell me shit. Like I'll follow you. Y'all celebrities getting out of hand with your with, 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 with what you think. You thought because you could do good business and dribble the basketball, you could tell us what the f do. What the f you? Who's that creeping in my window? Beta mute. <laughs> I knew one of you betas was gonna come up in here and try to step, step, step in my goddamn comments. Do y'all not realize if you don't like what I'm saying, just scroll? Calling people dumbass from the comments don't mean nothing, but you a coward. He got a gay son, so he can't speak on black men. That's exactly fucking right. Dwayne, Dwayne Wade could never tell me nothing. Nothing. I don't even want to know how to dribble a basketball from Dwight Howard. What the fuck you mean? The boys can't tell me nothing. That's exactly what the mean you don't talk to black men you talk to black whatever gender they is but you don't talk to black men and me talking about him having hiv boy look my family are all comedians all of us we go to funerals and laugh sorry i find a humor in all this this eight eight billion dollar hiv heavy person you and your feelings behind that. That's how I know you slow. Beta Mew. Magic doesn't have HIV slash AIDS. How do I know all of this about Magic? I've been to his game show. He owned Deal or No Deal. When I was there, Magic walked in. I asked him, and he smiled and walked away. Tony. Tony. Tony, Tony, Tony. Delete this comment. This is the dumbest way to tell us about he not having AIDS. You ain't test him or nothing. You ask him a question, he walked off. Tony, I'm with you, Tony. But you ain't got to lie, Craig. You ain't got... You fool. <coughs> what? You ain't got to lie like that, boy. You went to the game show, deal or no deal, and he told you, come on now, Tony. Come on, Tony. It's hard, Tony. And you are going out here. Don't do that like that, man. Just say you believe it. Don't say because he walked in, he smiled at you and walked off, and now you don't believe he got it. 
I don't believe he got it either, but that this story, bro, come on, Tony. Okay, so again, this is uh, the brother's funny, and I'm not gonna say I all the way agree with his exact reasonings for what he's talking about. I really don't care about Magic Johnson having um, a gay son or not. That doesn't really, for me, I, I don't really care about that. Um, you got Republicans that have gay sons. I believe that Tim Cook is the owner of Apple. He's gay. So I don't, I mean, for me, I don't really care so much about that. I care most of all about the policies and what are they giving black men? That's what I care about, okay? I don't deal so much in sexuality or religion or any of that. I wanna know what do these people want to give black men? What are you looking for to give in black men? So if we're gonna vote, okay, you're voting for Kamala Harris. All right, what are what does she intend to do to help black men? What does she understand about the black male uh, struggle? What does she see that can be done to assist our brothers um, from in the black community with black men? And that's the problem that she doesn't see that. That's the issue, okay? She 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 only says. Vote for black men or else. You know, you need to vote for black men. You black men, vote for Kamala Harris. Well, again, we're not talking about what they get. What do they get? What are they getting? That's what we're not talking about. And now we're not being honest. And now we're not being honest, okay? And this is why it is so terrible. It don't make any sense. And y'all strategy politically, it needs to come more center towards African-American men, because this is the reason why you guys might lose 30% of the vote and you guys have the election on the line. You might not basically win the election because you guys just don't care. That's why black men are so disgusted with you guys. To be honest, there are so many black men who are just disgusted with Democrats and it, it, and it really don't have anything to do with hating women or and some folks can make it out to be, well, you guys are, um, you guys don't like gays or you guys don't like women or you guys don't like uh, liberal policies. No, it's just that you guys don't feel like you need to do anything for the base of African-American men who see their wealth declining under democratic policies. We see more jails being bent. We don't see anything out there for us. We don't see it. You're just telling, it's almost like, bye. You come here and you, you make sure you go and support that business. But does the business care about what they want to do for you? Does the, is the, is the business trying to gain its customers? Imagine you buying an iPhone and the iPhone never wants to improve. Okay. What would you say if the iPhone has no intention on improving every year and it's the iPhone one and every year they're selling you the same iPhone. Well, the question is, would you continue to buy it if you're getting nothing out of it? And then let's say, for example, you don't want to buy it anymore. And then they have the unmitigated gall to get mad that you don't want to buy it anymore. How dare you not buy it anymore? You're supposed to buy it. Like what kind of company can stay in business without trying to do something for their customers or trying to entertain their customers or trying to improve their customer experience or how they deal with their customers? Who can stay in business like that year after year and not even care? You know, you guys don't care anything about black America. You guys don't care anything about black men. You guys don't care anything about their struggle. So now I'm gonna tell you what starts to happen, okay? And I'm gonna just be honest. Okay, you have some black men who don't like certain things or certain sexual things going on. But what happens is when you have a history of not doing anything for black men, so then now you guys allow the opportunities for ad hominems to come into play, okay? Because guys are so frustrated. Now they start bringing in things, which in my honest opinion, are not really relevant to the conversation. But if you guys are doing what you're supposed to do, for example, Tim Cook is gay, all right? Tim Cook is gay, has been gay for a long time, forever, okay? Tim Cook is a Republican, okay? He does business with both parties, he's a Republican. All right. And he's been a Republican for many years. Nobody will ever question the sexuality of Tim Cook because Apple's a great company. Okay. Nobody, nobody can, can do that. All right. Now you have some people, although it doesn't make it right, 
okay? That's gonna say, well, well, Magic Johnson, you know, look at, you know, uh, you're talking to heterosexual black men, which is really what he's saying. Because when, because I'm gonna be honest, I think a lot of the uh, 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 brothers in the LGBTQ community lean uh, more liberal than heterosexual black men. So he's talking to heterosexual black men. So some black men are gonna say, well, hey man, you're speaking for us, but come on, man, like you, you're not, you're, like you're, you, you're not even for heterosexual black men in, in our opinion. And you allow that criticism because as Magic Johnson, you should be saying, okay, black man, I understand your problems. I understand your concerns. Okay, you need to tell Kamala Harris, what are we doing for the African-American men? Then what no one me mentioned the fact about your personal life or what, what, whatever you have, which he shouldn't really mention at all because it's not important. So guys, what do you think it's your boy O'Shea Duke Jackson back at it again with another episode of The Celebrity Junk? Appreciate sure for all you do, scared the bell. We're out.